What's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Mario Super Sluggers. In the last episode, we made our way back to both Mario Stadium, if I can get my cursor, Mario Stadium and Peach Ice Garden, both of which have now been completed. We've collected every, I say collected like they're like not people, we've gathered up all the teammates, that's a better word for it, from both of these areas and now we only have two more stadiums left before we finally finish up every single area and we have uh, obtained every single teammate that we could possibly have. I almost said gathered again. I don't know, I'm having a hard time coming up with different words, but right now I think we should go ahead and get started and head on inside Yoshi Park. And uh, we're not too far from being done here. In fact, there's really only one player that I can think of off the top of my head that we don't have. And that just, actually I need Yoshi and I need to go this way. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Instead of going that way, I need to go to this purple manhole first and take it over here by the ball stadium. And then I need to switch over to Mario, take this pipe, and we can finally come all the way back here to this chest that I mentioned oh so long ago that has the paintbrush that we need to get at least two different players and we got a brush we can now paint and uh, of course we'll need to head back to the pipe with Mario and then with Yoshi yeah, a lot of changing characters here and it takes a little while because it has this whole little animation thing that it does and uh, it stops you in place uh, you can also keep spamming the minus button. I never mentioned this. You've seen me do it, and you just saw me do it right there. Um, you can spam the minus button if you accidentally go past the character you want, and you'll just continue to cycle through. Um, instead of having to switch to Mario and go through that pipe to get to Red Yoshi, we actually just head right over here to this manhole. And if we head straight north, we can head right over here, and here's Red Yoshi. Yes, you found my brush, didn't you? Thanks. I'm just finished getting my shop ready for opening. I'm going with you, but we need to return the brush. The brush belongs to Green Paratroopa. He's in Wario City. Let's work together. We can do it. And we add Red Yoshi to our team. So he's a speedy Yoshi with all around skills. So pretty similar to Green Yoshi. And with that, wait a minute. That's everybody from around here. A rainbow of Yoshis and Shy Guys, Wiggler, and Birdo. That's it. And with that, the Yoshi eggs are ready to play. And they very easily have the most teammates with, I believe, 13 players total. Because it's 7 on top and 6 on bottom, which makes, yeah, 13. They have a ton of players. Uh, both multiple colors of Shy Guys and Yoshis. You've recruited all the teammates in this area. You might find more teammates around other ballparks. Let's go look for them. All right, and the Yoshi eggs are ready to play. The shop, Red Yoshi is ready to go. The shop is open, and it's immediately everything is half off. There's nothing special here, so I won't bother. Uh, I'm going to try to beat this entire game by basically not using any of those items, though. Before we take on Bowser Jr., um, I will go into a shop and kind of cover all those, just so you guys uh, can see what they do. And uh, things like that. Because I don't think I've ever given an explanation of each of these items. Actually, now that I think about it, I may have done so at the very beginning of our adventure. Or at least I hovered over them and kind of just briefly spoke about them all and as a in, as a whole. But maybe not uh, had gone through and explaining each item. Though every item is pretty self-explanatory. So I don't know if I really need to do that much explaining. And yeah, so let's return this brush to Green Paratroopa, who's right here. Ew, the fog finally is gone. I wanted to fix the billboard that Bowser Jr. erased, but... Hey, you got my brush. Would you use it to paint something, please? And so now we have the ability to paint. Now, these stamps and things like that do carry over from all other, um... I guess, menus or save states that you can have in this game. There's three save states you can have in this game. I haven't really mentioned them much. Now, I'm pretty sure we could expand these and make them bigger and whatnot. Uh, we'll just put a big old stamp. Uh, actually, you know what? Just for the sake of it, 
we'll put Bowser here in black. So just right in the center, there's Bowser's face. And that's it. It's hard to put it into words. It's simple, but nice. Wario prefers big, bold paintings, but I really like this. You want to recruit me? Yes! Finally, my first chance at the big show. I mean, uh, well, I guess you help with my billboard and everything. Alright, I'm in. Oh, and you can redesign the billboard over and over again if you want, so paint away. And now we finally have green paratrooper, a balanced player with a bit of pop. So pretty good fielding, and his other stats are pretty average. And yeah, so you can always walk uh, up here and press A to search if I'll get that to pop up again. Maybe, come on, you can do it, Yoshi. There we go, and we can, this billboard can be repainted as many times as you want. The picture will be used as your save file icon, so paint whatever your heart desires. And uh, so yeah, you can repaint that as many times. You can also paint it from the menu when you open the game as well, because like they, uh, like I just said, it is your save files home screen. Uh, when you start the game, it'll just be the logo of Mario Super Sluggers. Uh, but once you've made it through the challenge mode to this point, and you've painted through that, or painted over that billboard, that will be your, uh, like, icon for your save state, which is pretty nice. Alright, but now that we've done all of that, there's only one more player left to get, and that's King Boo. Hey, hey, you. Did you find some boos? Indeed, I did. Here are your hints. Air items and in a box. Make sure you get them all. So we got the one in the box, which is obviously the one that we found actually before King Boo. And then the air item is the one we grabbed off at Mario Stadium. Hey, you there. What do you got there? Huh? Hey, that's a Boo, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Aw, little Boos are so cute. But I don't want to see them hiding pine. Put them in a game, yeah? A riding pine. Put them in a game, yeah? And so now we have King Boo, who has some pretty good pitching and batting. Um, but he has pretty poor defense, and he's pretty slow as well. And with that, wah, you found every ball player in this area. Boo, King Boo, Koopa, Paratroopa, Goomba, Paragoomba, and my sneaky pal Waluigi. And now we have the entire Wario Muscles, which is actually the smallest team here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So yeah. 10 players total, only one of them will ever be sitting out at one time. Oh, you've recruited all the teammates from all the ballparks. This team should be more than good enough. Head back to the main map and challenge Bowser Jr. to a showdown. And the Wario muscles are ready to go. And also the shop now has everything 50% off. And so, with that though, we can head out of Wario City and we can see the nice reward for our completion which is just a nice little flag over every single ballpark and uh, I knew this wouldn't take very long and so what I want to do now is since we uh, don't really have enough time to play Bowser Jr. there is one place that I do want to show off and that is Toy Field. We can now play here. Hey it looks like you can play something here. You can play on Toy Field Hit and field with to win coins bet coins and win the game to earn even more coins so why don't we give toy field a quick playthrough so this is the challenge mode we pick one player and it will give us like four different or four other random cpus to play against uh, so we can pull uh, we can like bet up to different coins we earn up to 150 25 coins 25 250 coins 375 coins and 600 and 25 coins. So we put 200 coins in. We'll go ahead and play on the. Um, we'll look at the controls here. So it's going to force us to hold the remote sideways because we have to, uh, I think, field and different things like that. So one to dash, two to jump, uh, 12 and one, uh, one and two to attack. I said 12 to attack. Jeez. And uh, we'll be holding the Wii remote sideways for this. Um, for this, I'll go ahead and take all 20 turns and hopefully we can win and hopefully not lose a ton of our money that we really don't have much of a use for it anyway. This is one player toy field. So this is a great uh, game mode that returns from uh, Mario Superstars Baseball. So here we go. Select, stop a slot to select a pitch. Uh, so the one player will have a speed, one will have the course and an item. So the ball will uh, like curve and do weird different things and then uh, you'll give the batter a random item and you'll pick the speed at which the pitch comes in. 
and attack foes for the ball. Grab the ball and keep the grab and keep the ball to bat next. So you can actually attack fielders. Uh, so we gave him boost. It's gonna curve from left to right, and it's gonna be a very fast ball. So I don't think anyone's grabbing that. He's gonna grab 90 points. And he was able to, Yoshi was able to hold on to it, and so now he'll be able to bat next. If you win the most coins, that's pretty much it. And also, all those doors will spell out home run and different things like that. And I can hold on to this, and I'll get my turn to bat. And so, depending on how well we hit, uh, we'll get different points and different amounts of coins. Hit points. Nice hits, earn points. Swing for the panels, distance is key. Use air items to cause havoc. So they're gonna all select this. We're gonna random speed, right to left curve. And our uh, banana ability, we have some bananas here. And it looks like blue Shaw guy here are gonna be in some trouble. And they actually lost some coins. I think it's because they hit our air item there. Right, he's gonna have a bomb, the speed is a crown which is incredibly fast but it goes way over to the left corner so bonus distance uh, I can have this and I got the ball back so I'll get a chance to bat again though blue shy guy is tearing up the field right now I may want to try to wind up my swings here all right yeah so I'm gonna try a little early and also you can kind of manipulate this a little bit if you don't let's say get an item you want Mario, why did I didn't even press two to swing there? Mario just kind of swung automatically. Once again, I didn't press two and I lost money. Well, that kind of sucks. So the scoring update: we are in third place currently, and uh, we're kind of getting smoked here. I don't think we're getting our money back for this. I don't know why Mario kept swinging there. Maybe it's because you can't wind up like I think you can. All right, so it was an out because he caught it in the air, which causes, uh, I think, us to lose some points. We got hit with the item, so we lost even more money, and uh, actually now I'm in dead last. I don't play this too much, but I thought I'd play it on all-star difficulty just for the sake of showing it off. And now we have to run away from the other fielders to make sure we don't get the ball taken from us. And because we got an out, we actually gained money for that. And, okay, Mario, I don't know what's happening here. You've got to stop swinging so early, my guy. All right, still early. I'm just going to press 2 from now on. I can't do that again. We're currently losing money. That was nice. So, plus 30 coins. Well, I actually got a lightning bolt as an ability. If I would have... Allow that to go a little longer. That might have actually uh, worked out well in my favor. All right, so we got a jackpot here. If you hit one of those doors, you'll get what is basically the jackpot. Oh, and I got hit and lost some money, which is not great. Yeah, we're still not doing so hot. We're not in last anymore. We're actually in second place, but we've got to catch up to Shaga. We've only got 10 turns left for this. Uh-oh, and that is foul. He almost hit a home run there. So that does not count against Yellow Yoshi. It does count as a strike, but nothing crazy. Strike. Uh, I hit two way too early. Um, so yeah, well, you're randomly selecting one depending on what field you're playing, basically. And we actually got the ball back. I lost a little money, but I uh, can't complain too much. Still in third place, Yoshi kind of pulling out ahead of us here. Uh, so someone still needs to hit one of those doors over there. Somebody will grab it, and uh, if the ball is on the ground while uh, the timer runs out, which it starts once the first player grabs the ball. You may have noticed that. Um, we will actually get to bat again, so our goal here right now though is definitely just to continue to bat as much as possible. Oh yeah, so we want to get the ball in the field while we can, so he did lose some money, and Toadsworth 
Ooh, coins are times two here. This is a big moment for us here. No item. Random speed. Whoa, there we go. So my coins are doubled here. And uh, uh, sadly, Blue Shog, I got the ball there. And it's times two, though, so we got 60 instead. And uh, oh, we're coming up close on first place here. Hopefully, we can maybe get an out here. And they both missed, and I got the out, so I gained some money, and he I gained a little bit. But uh, we're almost to first place. We are so close. Five turns left. I think we might actually be able to pull this off. And uh, the exact opposite side of the field that they are not on. The ball pops out, and uh, Toadsworth, no, Yellow Yoshi barely grabbed onto it. And now we're in the lead. And yeah, so the score has changed. We've now jumped way ahead into the lead here. Uh, so we got to hold our lead for four more turns. Hopefully getting to bat on two of those, if at all possible. Uh, sadly, I didn't get to hold onto that ball. Shy Guy was able to grab onto it. And oh, he's got coins times two here. Not great for us. Hopefully somebody will catch this in the air. That's not great. He got 90 there. So we are going to get to bat next. He got a ton of money for that. 400 coins. And with only two turns left, I'm not sure we can catch up here. Okay, we obviously can't do that. Because uh, that's just not going to work. Every time we swing, and like, uh, every time I do that, Mario always swings early. I just have to swing at a normal time I don't think I'm gonna win this Shy Guy had an excellent round last round and actually though that might help the ball can stay on the ground for long enough as I said we might be okay here we got a lot of money we're close we'll have to catch the ball here and uh, get it on our next turn more than likely in order to be able to win this game and Oh, he's very back, very deep. But I can grab it. He got a lot of money there, though. I don't think it's enough for him to even catch us. And with one good bat here, we can still win this thing. So hopefully... And that was enough money... Um, and Yellow Shy Guy is going to grab it, and I think that's going to do it. I don't think that was enough, and no, it was not. Though we get bonus results. Escape King, Attack King, and things like that. And so we'll see who comes out on top. The final result. We actually won! With those bonus coins, we barely snuck out past Blue Shy Guy. I'm honestly a little shocked myself, and of course the toy field, um, there's rankings here for 20 turns, 10 turns, and 30 turns, and uh, we're currently ranked 4th behind Daisy uh, and Luigi and Bowser, who have quite a lot, though we did beat out Bowser Jr. in terms of, a, I guess, a leaderboard. And uh, now we can return our Wii Remote to the uh, pointed position, and that's pretty much all there is for toy field. Now you can play this straight from the menu, you don't have to play it in here and we also get an item when we win there as well so uh that's pretty nice as well now really quick i want to check the roster and here we are we have not quite a full roster we only have 58 of 71 players and that is mainly because a lot of these characters here are going to be on team bowser which we'll be covering uh, in the next episode. I know we have screens for all of these players, but we're not quite done with that. We'll be covering all these other players in depth in our ball game against Bowser Jr. in the next episode. So yeah, in the next episode, we're finally heading to Bowser Jr. Playroom to take on Bowser Jr. and hopefully end his reign of terror across the baseball kingdom once and for all. But like I said, that's going to have to take place in the next episode. So if you guys did like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated as it helps the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below as well. 
Well, once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.